Kepler email. After a year of environmental challenges for marine life tonight, we have some good news. Dolphins in the Tampa Bay area are thriving. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane has more on the hope this news brings. It's no secret that 2021 has left a red mark on many environmental areas. It's the year with over 1,000 manatee deaths. The year of the Piney Point toxic water spill and the year with record red tide fish kills in Tampa Bay. But there is some hope. It's always good to get some good environmental news. 2021 is also the year where a record number of wild baby dolphins were born in Sarasota Bay. In the 50 years we've been watching the animals, we've never seen this many calves born to the resident population. Randall Wells is the director of the Chicago Zoological Society's Sarasota Dolphin Research Program. He says the Bay's dolphins are the focus of the world's longest running study of a wild dolphin population. And despite red tide earlier this year, right now dolphins are thriving. Red tide was not all that serious this year. It didn't do the same damage that it normally does to the fish populations that support the dolphins. And the populations had recovered from the severe 2018, 2019 red tide. So the mothers had enough food to be able to bring their pregnancies to term and have babies. One of those babies was born to a 44 year old dolphin named Square Notch that they've been tracking since 1980. He says this is the 11th calf she's had. A lot of those dolphins have an incredibly long reproductive lifespan. We've had females as young as six give birth and several females as old as 48 successfully give birth. Wells says a dolphin's pregnancy lasts about a year. And despite all the critical environmental challenges of 2021, this little smiling dolphin calf brings us some much needed hope. Right now, things are looking pretty good with the red tide gone and this record number of babies in Sarasota Bay. In Sarasota, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.